My name's Chris Senior, I'm a chartered member of CIAT. I co-own a practice in central Cambridgeshire called Wands Architecture. The brief was to replace the dilapidated pool housing that was on site, but we had to retain the existing pool structure. The site's located in central Cambridge. It's very constrained. The site is surrounded by TPO trees. The ground level is three, four metres below the surrounding ground levels. We're effectively below the local water table. Uh, we're within a quarry and the central conservation zone. So it was a, certainly a challenge. It's connected to a main house with walkways that goes through the trees. Uh, it had to maintain a separate access for visitors uh, when they're entertaining, but maintain some sort of relationship with the main house. The client wanted a Japanese-style building. We wanted something that responded well to the existing context. We did a lot of research to design techniques that they use and try to adopt them over here. For example, the copper downpipes that uh, dispose into the pond. The soffit detail is another. The client was very relaxed in their design approach. They gave us a lot of freedom to design something quite innovative and sustainable and fundamentally something the client could be proud of. The structure is piled foundations. They went four or five metres deep. The frame itself is redwood. It was manufactured and imported from the United States. They are nearly 10 metres high. Uh, the logistics of importing that from the United States was a challenge in itself. The site is very tight and constrained, so delivery was an issue. But working closely with the contractor, who was very conscious, uh, he was able to take delivery and direct the frame on site with very little issue. It was important to us that we use frameless glazing on the ground floor. We really wanted to maintain that relationship with the outside spaces. Being in a pool environment, condensation was a big issue, uh, so we had to come up with a ventilation system that uh, works hand in hand with that glazing. One way we were able to combat against drainage issues was to extend the pond and use that for the water attenuation from the discharge of the stormwater off the new dwelling. The site lends itself to the orientation of the sun. It's largely eats through south facing. We were able to utilize that uh, by extending the pond to reflect light off the ceiling and into the pool environment behind. In terms of heating, it utilizes two separate zones. We recycle the heat from the ground floor pool and that supplies underfloor heating to the first floor area. In terms of planning, Cambridge uh, is, is difficult. It's a historic city. Uh, we had to work close with the planners to ensure that uh, it's something that would contribute to the conservation area positively. Overall, the planners were very happy with what we designed, uh, and that's through maintaining a good relationship with the local authority. I think architectural technology is not just about coming up with designs that look good. Um, but that can be applied practically and uh, cost-effectively on site. And I think that's something that uh, this development has done quite successfully. As a practice, we're very proud of it and the clients are uh, very happy as well.